I'm Ben Mostoros, I'm 22. I have a cataract in my left eye. I used to have a cataract in my right eye as well. Then they operated on the right eye. Unfortunately, something went wrong with that operation. I'm now totally blind. But I still have uh, I still have a recollection of what things look like. So I've actually used Supernova all through my education, starting at my primary school. We used it in my secondary school as well. I remember the first time I actually heard about Supernova was when it was installed on one of the computers in my classroom in year three, I think it was. Supernova Access Suite. Supernova Control Panel. Visual page. And I thought it was amazing that this computer could talk because previously what I was doing was I was putting my face really close up to the monitor. But then when Supernova came along and I realized that I could do things that weren't possible before because Supernova was talking to me, I was able to read what was on the screen as opposed to just having to memorize the different pictures and struggling to use the mouse. I think that's why I'm so fascinated with computers now. So I study computer science, I've only got a few months left actually, so I'm, it's all a little bit manic at the moment. Every lecturer seems to think that their module is more important than anyone else's, so you have to uh, juggle it all a little bit. Largely, I do the same thing now that I did 13 years ago. I still use Character Echo, although obviously I'm a lot faster at touch typing. And one of the nice things about Supernova is that I can have my speech incredibly quickly. So I read at around 700 words a minute. And that really helps for situations where we're doing some group work and we have to read a case study. My sighted friends will just kind of skim through it in you know a few minutes. But in the same time, I will have read the case study, but I will have read it word for word. And in most situations, I'll actually have a more informed opinion of it because I've actually delved into it and because I've read it all as opposed to just skimming through it. At Kiel, we use Supernova in our labs and in our libraries. And I think the reason why they've chosen that is because it caters to everyone. You know, I can come along as a screen reader user, yet at the same time, someone who's partially sighted can come along, they can use the same software, but they can use the magnification part. So from a logistical point of view, it's so much easier just to have that one piece of software that you can install and you know that it caters for everyone. So I do quite a lot of eBay selling and Supernova works really well with eBay actually. I can list items, I can answer questions that people have, I can buy items because again and again I'm using the same software that everyone else is doing. I'm using Windows, I'm using a standard web browser. Because I have disabled students allowance DSA, I could choose what screen reader I had and I chose Supernova because when I lost the site that I had in 2005, I could carry on using the computer. I would just turn off the parts of magnification that I used. And, you know, in hindsight, I think it was really important to me that I still had that independence. Good afternoon. Okay. How are you? I'm fine. In fact, I remember, you know, the, the very same morning I came down and I checked my emails and whilst obviously, you know, I was upset that I'd lost my sight, essentially, I could still do it in the same way that I was used to because I was using Supernova, I was just using different features of Menu. it. Menu. Back. Inbox Microsoft Outlook. I think Supernova is extremely important for my education. Reply. Because I've used it pretty much every day for the past 13 years, I, uh, I sometimes forget what it would be like without Supernova. I mean, I, I read lecture slides with it, I do my coursework using it, I communicate with people with it. It's just unimaginable what it would be like without it. Dolphin Supernova. For every visual impairment. www.yourdolphin.com